Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining Mathis Digital. My name is Aaron, and today I want to show you how to work with text files in InfoBasic. Our text files are basically any files which is not binary. This could be CSV, it could be text file, JSON, XML, whatever, as long as it is not a binary file. Reading files involves three steps. First, we need to open a file. In InfoBasic, we use OpenSec. Then we read the file. We use ReadSec, but ReadSec, we read one line at a time. And once we are done reading our file, we need to close the file. This is our best practice to release the resources, OK? And um, I have a sample file. Uh, this is a CSV file which has the structure so the purpose is just to read this file and get the content and uh, what you do with the content uh, it's up to you let me show you how to do that okay now let's start to use these functions i assume this text file is located in uh, a folder called bnk interface and ebank and it's called transaction.csv Basically, when we do open sec, we provide two things. First is the folder where the, the file is located, and the, then the file name. Our open sec will open a file and give us a file descriptor or pointer to the file uh, which we use. Now, going forward, we don't use this physical file, we use this pointer to that file or file descriptor which we get in a return. If we fail to read a file, here we're going to just print the message, fail to open the file. Because if a file does not exist, uh, this pointer will be null. So we, in that case, we just print the message, okay? In any case, we have to close this file pointer which we have opened. Now, because ReadSec reads one line at a time, so we need to loop through the file. So this is the reason why I have here a loop repeat. And we don't know how many times we're going to loop. So we're going to break once we cannot read anything from this file pointer or this file descriptor, okay? So this is saying read a line from this file pointer. If you cannot read, which means once you reach at the end of file, then break out of this loop. Otherwise, if we don't do that, it's going to be a, an infinite loop. This is not what we want. Now, for now, what we are going to do, we just print the content of that line, what, what we have read, okay? This is as simple as that. Now, once we are done, of course, we need to close our file, and that's all. Now, here we, it's where you can put the logic of uh, uh, what you want to do with the data. So you read the line, what you want to do? Do you want to append to a dynamic array? Do you want to process the line? Maybe you post this transaction. I leave that to you. And that's all. This is how simple it is. Okay. Um, let me connect to T24. And you're going to try this program. So chat and we're going to create a program called MTD dot read file. I think I called read file. Yeah. Dot bin because it is a basic program. And I'm just going to grab the source code. Wait. Yeah. Copy. And <clears throat> let me paste. Voila. And you can do control V to format the, my program. Then if I I can basically do if I to save and B to compile and C to catalog. Okay, so my program is compiled. And to run the program, just type the name of the program. Okay. With that extension to the B. Voila. So 
as you can see we have managed to fetch all the details from the file thank you i hope you have enjoyed watching this video all the documentations are on our github page so you can visit github.com slash mathcio and you are going to see this documentation basically if you browse this and if you click on uh, working with files which should be here voila you have the documentation you can always get in touch with me and i hope you have enjoyed watching vi this video please make sure to share this video with your friend and to click like button thank you see you next